Hello there, welcome to a quick video on how to make custom kill messages like these. Before we start, please note that this tutorial is specifically for PC players. For console players, I don't know how to do this for console, or if there's a way to modify this for console. So I'm sorry in advance. Now let's begin. First, you need to find the main directory of the game. If you're using Steam, go to your library and right click on War Thunder and select Properties. Now click on Local Files and press Browse. This will bring you to the main directory of War Thunder. If you downloaded the game from the website, simply right click on the shortcut, choose Properties and click on Open File Location to quickly locate the directory. Now in here, you should find this folder called LANG. This is where all of the text files are located. Now if you don't have this in your War Thunder folder, the way to make this folder appear is you have to put some text lines on your config file here. In the config, scroll down until you see debug. And then you have to add these in the last line of the debug. For you guys, I'm gonna put it in the description down below. And then we have to save the config file and then launch War Thunder. Now that we have War Thunder launched, exit the game. Now back in War Thunder's main directory, you should now have the folder for Lang. Now let's go inside the folder and search for the menu CSV. There you are. Now as you see in the earlier footage, I already have the custom kill messages set up for me. So we're just gonna make some backup files for all of this. Like the copy, open and close parentheses 2 is my modified version and this is the original. So we're gonna call this original. Remember to always make backup copies of your files when you're modifying them. Now let's open my first custom kill messages first to show it to you. I'm also using the Visual Studio code, but you can open these files with Notepad. Now let's see what it looks like in Notepad. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a lot harder in Notepad by the way. So this is my custom kill messages for War Thunder. Okay, let's try finding Obliterated. There we go. That's for ground target destroyed. As you can see earlier in the footage. Now let's search for aircraft kills. And that is flying no more. I know it's kind of messy but I'm gonna put some more information in the description for you. So it will be easier for you to modify your own text. So now let's start making our own custom kill messages. Let's open the menu CSV, the one who is not yet modified. So for this video, we're gonna change the text for ground target kills, air target kills, and assists. Let's start with ground targets. Now we have to search with Ctrl F, target destroyed. Now we have to make sure that the custom text that we're gonna put in here is inside the quotation so it will work. Just like this one. So for ground targets destroyed, we're gonna call this like for more videos hell yeah and with takeoff we're gonna call this i am now flying with zone capture i'm gonna call it my stuff now and now let's find aircraft destroyed we're gonna change this into not in my airspace does this have a space or no and then we're gonna save this now now that's done, let's save it and go back in the game and try it out. Now we are in test drive, let's see if it's working. Let's hit this Shilka. Like for more videos, it is working. Not enough emotional damage, yeah I forgot. I also changed the text for the hits and call it not enough emotional damage. Like for more videos, that's another kill, let's try to get a critical hit. Ah, come on. There we go, it is working. Can't get a critical hit. I keep one-shotting the test tanks here. Another one-shot, yeah. Come on, I need a critical hit. 
Let's hit the engine for this tank. That's gonna go. That's gonna be a critical hit, right? Not enough emotional damage. Hey, that's a critical hit. I think I, I think I made a mistake with the text for critical hit. But yeah, it's working. Let's try air. Oh yeah, the automatic cockpit opening. That's an issue when you take off in carriers. Remember to close your cockpits before taking off. Fox 2. Not in my airspace. Yep, it is working. Lilo, 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 Lilo. Oh my god, this thing has a lot of kicks. Yeah, I think I... I think I made a mistake there. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys find this useful. Now remember to check the description for more information about how to do custom kill messages. And also Gaijin has finally responded to my email for Gaijin partnership application. And they told me I am close. I just need a little bit more push with the with my War Thunder videos. So. If you guys really find this video helpful and want to support me making more contents like this, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and please share this with, our, with your friends so we can get more people in here. And for those waiting for the how to make War Thunder cinematics, it's still in a work in progress. And I am still waiting for the major update so I can start recording for it. So stay tuned. And for the cinematic lovers, guess what? I have the Leopard 2A4 now. It's time to make some sexy ass cinematics with this awesome vehicle. So yeah, once again, if you guys find this video helpful and you want to see me make more of this or want to support me make more videos like this, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share this with your friends. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can also become a patron. So we can make more awesome cinematics. Oh, speaking of patrons, special thanks to our patron supporters for this month. Sniper, Blue MP5, Eggboy, and Atlas. Thank you guys so much for the support. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one. Sparky cannot use profanities anymore. Always take care.